Is this the first time you guys have spoken? This is the first time we've spoken properly, but I had the opportunity to meet Kubo Sensei once at the Jump Exhibition. Yes, at that time you said to me I was influenced by Bleach and started drawing manga, and I replied, No, you were influenced by Togashi san. I was too nervous to tell you at that time, but it was really because of Bleach that I started to think about becoming a manga artist. Really? When I was in the fourth grade, my older brother bought Weekly Shonen Jump, but I wasn't allowed to read Jump because what he bought belonged to him. The Jump I read in secret when my brother wasn't around happened to be the Jump that had the first episode of Bleach on it. I was so shocked by that first episode that I thought manga artists were amazing. I think that was my initial impulse. And then you read Bleach every week? No, it was hard to read it when my brother was not around. You read it every week in secret. Yes, after that, I had a chance to start trying to become a manga artist. When I was in the fifth grade, I moved from Iwate Prefecture to Sender City in Miyagi Prefecture and was surprised to find that my friends at my new school were drawing manga. I was quite shocked and thought, wow, drawing is not just something I enjoy looking at, it's something I draw. What? Did you like to draw when you were little? I hadn't done any drawing except for school assignments and I honestly didn't think anything of it. I didn't think I liked it or disliked it. I was surprised that such a person became a manga artist. I yes. So I started drawing manga in imitation of my friend and that's how I became a manga artist. Well, that's interesting. You are just the opposite of me. When I was in the second or third grade, I liked the anime series Gegege no Kitaro, which led me to read the manga series as well, which in turn led me to draw only dots. I used to draw shadows with dots on drawings of monsters. I drew thinking that I was going to be a manga artist. Oh, you are so sorry. Who is Kubo Sensei's favorite character in Jujutsu Kaisen? It is Nanami Kento. I have the impression that I started capturing the story when he first appeared. I think his appearance was a turning point for me as well. Since then, their abilities have become more interesting. At the beginning, I couldn't understand if Fushiguro Megumi's ability was a shadow or not. I was reading this with a sense of frustration because they were fighting at night and in a place with windows, and you should draw in such a way that everyone can see that his power are shadows. But I thought that the direction changed drastically when Nanami appeared. Todo Aoi, who appears afterwards, is also a very interesting character. How did you feel when Nanami was killed in the Line of Duty? I thought he was dead, but it's the type of manga where characters die frequently, so it's not surprising that he died. When I think about the exit of a character, I'm very conscious of Bleach in terms of how far I use the character. In the Arantaro arc, there are many characters and some of them are short from their appearance to their exit, but I thought you gave them at least the necessary information about what kind of character they are before they leave. It's true that I started to think about killing enemy characters from the Arankar arc, but I'm not really aware of it. I was pretty intuitive about it, and I think that was probably a good thing. By the way, who are the other characters in Jujutsu Kaisen that you were interested in? For example, female characters. 
I'm sorry to say this in front of you, but I don't have a favorite female character in Jujutsu Kaisen. Isn't the female character's personality tight? When a character's personality is biased, it often reflects the author's preference, but I'm wondering if it's Akutami Sensei's preference. This is a kind of escape. I am not very good at drawing women. I try to avoid creating ladylike characters. There are many different types of male characters, but I feel that only the female characters are very biased. I thought it might be an evasion of the idea of having a female character who is analogous to a gender role. No, it isn't. Uh huh, you don't really like the strong female attribute? I don't have many favorite attributes. Whenever I'm asked about my favorite female characters, I read. I also wondered if readers don't want me to draw a ladylike or a sexy female character. It's true that the female characters in Jujutsu Kaisen are perfectly suited to the readers of Jujutsu Kaisen. What would you say to Toto if he asked you about your sexuality? No answer, maybe he'll hit me. I answer big teeth. Oh, it's not really my favorite type of woman. It's that as a character of manga, I like it. Who is Akutami Sensei's favorite character in Bleach? I like Kurotsuchi Mayuri and Zaraki Kenpachi, but I especially like Kurotsuchi. I think it was Kurotsuchi who first used Bankai. When I first saw it, I had a strong impression that it was creepy, so I really liked it. When I saw the demonic womb covering seal symptomatic body of Bankai's final form, this is, this is Kurotsuchi. I was so excited. There are a lot of manga artists who like Mayuri. I wonder if there is a sense of authorship or creativity to it. It's understandable if we've seen Jujutsu Kaisen, so it seems that Akutami Sensei certainly likes creepy stuff. That's right, I like works that portray scary things in a scary way, and I have a strong desire to do the same. What is Akutami Sensei's favorite scene or line in Bleach? As I said in various places, I like fiery lightning howl of demon art. Do you like the incantation of fiery lightning howl? Personally, I like it because I think it shows the sense of ranting that Kubo Sensei gives off the most, which is a far cry from the reading out of spells and such that we've seen in the past. Thank you. Everyone wants to say the complete incantation of Black Coffin, but I personally think that Black Coffin is the best without incantation. In the first place, it is a setup to the point where Komamura Sajin is killed instantly and Ichimaru Gin is surprised. It makes the Black Coffin look bitter. In the first place, in Kantoka, Kubo Sensei regularly writes a short poem after some long poems. For example, if you even fail to be born, it's only natural to die by Kurotsuchi. Because Kubo Sensei makes the short poem stand out in such a way, the best black coffin is it without incantation. You are a big fan! And this is the first time I've seen someone call the poem at the beginning of the book, Kantoka. Maybe next time I'll call it Kantoka too. What is Kubo Sensei's favorite scene or line in Jujutsu Kaisen? Jujutsu Kaisen is a manga that is still ongoing, so I'm sure there will be many more good scenes to come. If I had to choose one from the existing ones, it would be Yoshino Junpei's line. I wonder if the first person to say their upset of fondness is indifference went to hell like they should have. This is what impressed me the most. 
I read it every week with a sense of familiarity because of the similarity in motifs and use of motifs in Jujutsu Kaisen. I like and use Buddhist motifs, so I was surprised to see that you use such maniacal motif like Sozu. The characters are written on the circle that appears when Tosen uses Bankai, which is actually kanji of Kusozu. Oh, really? That's amazing! In the first place, Bleach gave me the initial impulse when I was in elementary school, and Hunter x Hunter and Evangelion came on top of that when I was in middle school. When I thought so, I realized that if Evangelion is based on mythological motifs, then I had to take a different approach. It would be Buddhist. It's a Japanese version of mythology. That said, I haven't been able to handle it so far. It's about time everyone realized that I'm not learning enough. As long as you get the words right, you are good to go. Besides Gegege no Kitaro, are there any other works that have influenced you? When I read your early works, I thought that you were surprisingly, strongly influenced by anime. I consider myself to have been influenced by Saint Seiya. Saint Seiya! In terms of order, I watched the anime and the manga of Gegege no Kitaro. Started watching Saint Seiya when I was in about the fourth grade at the suggestion of my parents and started reading Weekly Shonen Jump, which contains the Saint Seiya manga, when I was in the sixth grade. After that, I guess it's Bastard. Togashi Sensei was also influenced by Bastard. Bastard's drawings were pretty close to anime, so that may have had an influence. I just didn't know how to use tones, so I did my best to draw with light. I've solved a long standing mystery. Oh, can I ask your line ID? Yes, of course. 